Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to a new video. So in this video, we are going to cover the PayPal recruitment process and syllabus. So as we've told in the previous video, PayPal is hiring for 2021 graduates and uh, this is an off campus hiring. So if you've not applied for it as of now, make sure that you go to our Instagram. The link to apply is given on Prep and Star's Instagram page. I think the link of the Instagram page would be given in the description below. So make sure that you up, go and apply there. This, this is open for all, regardless of your college. Your college must be, uh, you know, uh, accredited by AICTE or UGC. In that case, if it is, then you can apply there, right? Uh, so now if we are to talk about PayPal, right? PayPal, as all of us know, is a payments company based out of US. And it has significant operations right now in India as well, because in India, it has now started its operation in giving uh, payment services in competition with, uh, for example, Paytm or uh, you have Razorpay and all the other different companies, right? Mastercard, etc, etc. So they are also hiring a lot in India. So this time we expect that approximately they will be hiring six, uh, 600 to 700 people at Freshers. They have offices in uh, Hyderabad, Chennai and Bangalore. So they would be hiring at these three locations. The package that they are giving this time is 24 lakhs for BTEC and 29.6 lakhs for mtech right so you know this is a very humongous package i think it would be a dream company for a lot of us uh, so make sure that you go and apply there now when we talk about the syllabus and let me take a pause there if anybody tells you if before the exam that this is the syllabus they are lying uh, because generally what we have seen hacker rank uh, do is uh, or the exam is based on hacker rank of PayPal. Uh, we have seen and we have contacted multiple colleges. In fact, my younger brother who is studying in VIT Vellore well, had on campus uh, hiring for PayPal. And uh, on day one and day two itself, they had different patterns altogether. I'm not sure why they do that and why things are like this, but PayPal changes its pattern every time for each college, you know. But, you know, kind of pattern remains the same. The number of questions and the sections vary, vary, right? So, for example, the one thing is definitely clear that you are going to have a coding round definitely based on hacker rank, right? The number of questions would be two. That is definite, right? But what is not definite and I'll tell you process by process so that my team can, you know, show it to you on right hand side of mine in a very proper format. So, let me discuss it via option one, two and three. So the option one of what we have seen them is to conduct purely a coding based test, which would be of two hours. That is 120 minutes. You would have two questions. Uh, one question would be hard. That would uh, be of 100 marks. The second question would be medium. That would be of 50 marks so 150 marks, right? So this would be option one. And we'll discuss, you know, different types of questions that Hacker Rank or PayPal ask, right? A little later. The second option that what they generally do is they have three rounds. The first round is aptitude, which has 20 questions. Uh, it consists of questions from uh, profit and loss, permutation combinations, speed, time and distance, uh, um, you know, questions like these number systems, LCM, HCF. So 20 questions, 20 minutes for uh, uh, aptitude, a little bit of uh, Logical is also there in one or two questions. So this is kind of the pattern uh, 20 questions 20 minutes each question consists of uh, One marks, right? Then the second section of the test has again 20 questions 20 minutes and then the test is based on technical round So PayPal generally does not care that if you're non-CS and IT person You're applying for PayPal, which is a product based company giving you 20 plus LPA package, right? So the question that they would be asking would be based on an operating system Operating systems, for example, you know, C scan, uh, FCFS, uh, all of these things like disk scanning. Uh, questions of based on Billady's anomaly. Questions based on uh, LRU catching algorithm. Question based on o optimal LRU FIFO priority. These types of scheduling algorithms. That is one. DSA a lot. So based on graph, trees, linked list, hashing, etc., etc. Some questions based on op uh, oops, some questions based on C++, right? So these would be there. No software engineering, no DBMS generally, right? 
Uh, but yes, DBMS again is important from interview perspective. But at least in the written round, we've not seen hacker rank asking DBMS question unless very specific company is hiring that is uh, a data science company, right? So this is the second pattern. And then again, in the in in this pattern, the third one would be coding, right? So first, quants, 20 question, 20 minutes. Then uh, technical MCQ, 20 question, 20 minutes. Then third one is, again, in both of these sections, uh, each question, each question has one marks. Then the third section in this would be coding round. Again, uh, two questions, 120 minutes, right? The third option that we have seen them do is, which we likely think is going to happen for this off-campus drives. The number of questions may vary, so you don't have to worry about that. But again, the pattern would be the same. So we think, and even in the number of questions, if I'm to you know just do hit and trial here and there, is we think that there would be no technical MCQ round, again, no technical MCQ in the third option, which we think is more likely to happen. But you will have uh, your quants or your aptitude round, which would have either 20 questions or 40 questions. Again, 20 minutes or 40 minutes. Again, the, uh, the topics remain the same that I told you previously. As the second, as the second round in this third option, you would be having two questions again, 120 minutes. So we are, you know, slightly, I'll say I, I'm very sure that there would be two questions in all the three cases, but we can't guarantee the same because again, the pattern is not announced by the company. It I don't think it will be even announced. So same thing is uh, happened with Goldman Sachs, uh, which was also via Hackerang. The pattern was never ever announced. And we saw that, you know, there were like a few companies who were making Goldman Sachs uh, questions. Uh, on YouTube and then in Goldman Sachs, they were giving you C and C++ question and we saw that there were no C and C++ questions. So do not trust any company that gives you randomly. I've seen there are two, three channels that randomly upload Hexaware aptitude questions, Goldman Sachs aptitude questions by just, you know, putting these questions from NCRT or RS Agarwal and then they're like, okay, these are Hexaware questions. Prep Insta does not do that until and unless we are not very sure that we know the whole pattern. We don't make any video, even though we are making this video because we are slightly sure about the, how the pattern is going to be not 100% sure. Again, since the exam is on Hacker Rank, so we have all the previous year questions of Hacker Rank. So now we, even though, so again, those same questions would be used for Cisco, uh, for uh, PayPal or Cisco or any other company. So again, we are a little more sure, which is why we are making this video for this, right? So again, if I'm to tell you the kind of questions that they ask, so this was all, all about the three options of the uh, uh, exam, right? If I'm to talk about the coding questions that they would have, so the coding questions that we've seen in uh, ha Hacker Rank just recently is, so for example, you are supposed to find integral pairs. So integral pairs, that is integers, it could be negative value or positive value also. X and Y, these are two values. And you have to find such numbers within a given range. So, uh, which would uh, satisfy the equation 1 by X is equal plus 1 by Y is equals to 1 by N factorial. So, for example, in this case, they are going to give you inputs, user inputs as. So, first, N factorial value. So, let's say 5. So one by 120 uh, is would be the value. And then they will give you a range of let's say 10 to 20. And then you are supposed to find uh, X and Y values between 10 and 20, all the pairs of the values that satisfy one by X plus one by Y is equals to one by 120, right? So you're supposed to find all of these values. So again, in this case, even though you may get a correct answer by applying multiple for loops. The better way would be you would be to use competitive programming concepts like dynamic programming, memoization, and uh, uh, your recursion at the very same time. Right. One of the questions that just was recently was asked was a simple BFS question that is breadth first search question, which used this breadth first search concept wherein a given night on the chessboard to find whether it can reach a destination cell or not. So for example, they are saying that, okay, a knight is there, right? Uh, so, for example, queen is there, knight is there, horse is there, all of these things, right? And then it can make only certain moves, right? So, it is, they are giving you a position of uh, uh, a chessboard. So, A1 or F2, 
two and they'll give you a proper how the chessboard looks image and based upon that you are able to you you, you need to tell that can it reach this destination within one moves can it reach it within two moves can it reach it within three moves so they'll give you input values as number of moves uh the current destination of the night the final destination that is supposed to be for the night right so again it's a bfs question it's a very difficult question so this was 100 marks question and the previous one was 150 marks question if i'm to tell you a little more about you know the kind of questions that were asked uh right so if you just give me a second i have it here with me okay so they had an automated painting system that needed if you to write a program wherein you are giving an n cross 3 grid n cross 3 because 3 is red gru green and blue and such that no rows or column contain cells that are of the same color right determine the number of valid pattern that can be given in the row since the number of pattern can be large the value can be a modulo value so for example what they are saying is you have three colors red green and blue and you have a matrix which is of n cross 3 so n number of rows three columns you are supposed to fill uh, or you are supposed to find the number of iterations wherein no rows will have the same color repeated again so again there are three rows and three colors so you know there would be three different uh, you know red green blue so basically three factorial would be in a single row right so you're supposed to find a uh, such number of patterns using coding questions right so again uh, this would be put on our website we would have a page called as uh, paypal uh, coding questions uh, which would be there in the description of the link below you can go ahead and uh, check that right then again you had technical questions split an array into sub array with with the given conditions all the characters in each of the splitted sub array must be must not be in the another sub array right Samp uh, so for example so you are given an array and you are given an sub array so you are supposed to say that okay if the sub array contains the array or not and then there are multiple sub arrays so again maybe a lot of you would not understand because it's a little difficult to explain you a very difficult question by word so again you can find it in the description below so how would you prepare for this test right so again uh, we will prepare a few links for you where you can find all the previous year questions of uh, paypal based on hacker rank only apart from that we are also launching a hacker rank uh, or a uh, hacker rank prime video course just recently the link to which also would be given in the description below which would cover your quants which will cover your technical aptitude which will cover your competitive programming as well right so based on hacker rank itself very specific to hacker rank so you know quants technical mcq and uh, coding so even though paypal may not have quantitative aptitude maybe in exam but again you get it completely free in that doesn't matter or what you can do, do is you can probably join a a uh, competitive programming course of prep insta which would be valid for hacker rank hacker earth normal interviews uh, metal code safe etc etc you can go ahead and do that or you can join prep insta royal pass where and you get all these three things completely included whatever we offer at prep insta amcad co cubes thesis and e litmus c c plus plus nano degrees courses certification courses everything that we have today everything we will have tomorrow you will get that right so we'll find you you can find all of these things there again you cannot hope to get into product based companies without knowing competitive programming which is something that we'll cover in our competitive programming course and also in our paypal course as well also in our hacker rank course so we are kind of made three different things competitive programming if you want to just learn general competitive programming hacker rank course if you just want to prepare for hacker rank uh because obviously it's asked in multiple multiple companies like cisco paypal amazon etc etc and paypal based course wherein you can just find paypal based pattern and very specific to paypal and just if we if you are preparing for paypal and again if you at any particular point in time if you feel that okay i bought the paypal course but now i want to go ahead and buy a competitive programming course maybe because you were not selected in paypal in that case what you can do is you can pay the difference amount uh, let's say 500 is the difference amount in both of these courses and join the competitive programming course you can just call our team and tell them this is the use case they'll take the difference of the payment and uh, would give you the course right 
So that's pretty much about it. What we also want to do uh, do here is the top three comments in each of the video get our courses completely free. So make sure that if you have any comments or if you have any good questions you ask us, those would be chosen by our team and you will get the course completely free of cost. Right. So that is one more thing. Again, a few companies would be hiring. In fact, three different companies would be hiring next week. Uh, so we'll post all those off campus drive updates in our Telegram, in our Instagram, in our WhatsApp and LinkedIn. Make sure that you join all of them because some drives are Telegram exclusive. So we only post on Telegram because, you know, the company says that, okay, we only want 1000 people to apply. And if we post everywhere, 50,000 people will apply. Right. Uh, so, you know, things like that. Generally, sometimes we post that, okay, we want the numbers to get increased on our Telegram or maybe on our Instagram. So we only post it there and tell other people that, okay, the link is here. Join it here. <clears throat> so the reason why we do it on uh, all of these social media handles is because you don't visit Trebinsta on a daily basis, right? But you visit Instagram on a daily basis. So you'll see, okay, for example, let's say Cisco is hiring, right? So like, okay, Cisco is hiring. I was just scrolling my Instagram. I got to know, let me apply. And you would not miss that particular drive. So that case, it helps a lot. So all the very, very best to all of you. Uh, a lot of previous year questions of HackerRank and of PayPal would be given on the paper on the paypal coding questions page of prep and so you can go ahead and check the link in the description below and you can practice all of those questions all the very best uh, i hope to see all of you get placed and get benefited by prep and star with whatever mode even if it's a free live session on youtube even if it's a free website even if it's a paid course of prime video or prime mock uh, we genuinely want to help uh, and do our best in getting students increase their skill and get placed so all the very best make sure that you do subscribe to our youtube channel if you have any comments you can always comment and our team always reply thank you